Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. Now, this isn't exactly anything new, but over time, Mori Calliope has found herself the target of some of the most unreasonable and unfounded hate you'll ever see. What began largely as overused and very tired memes making fun of her music and online persona has developed into something that contains like a cult-like following of aunties who attack and try to cancel her every time she takes another breath. And many people have made the claim that this is just memes and it's all for jokes and no one's actually trying to cancel her, but that's not true. It has been proven to interfere with her business before, and today is another example of that. So earlier this week, she released her latest album called Cinderella, and in the many different posts promoting this album, she made a list of all of the collaborators she worked with for this album, including Track 9's producer, Amru. Now, unfortunately for Amru, in the replies to his quote retweet and subsequent tweets talking about the collaboration, Maury's aunties began to spread all kinds of slander about her, saying she was a racist, she made racist songs. They are even posting just like straight up memes of made up songs that she apparently produced, which was a complete and utter lie. Now this quickly turned into a really bad situation when Amru deleted that previous post and then made this also now deleted post, essentially throwing Maury under the bus and claiming that they were simply asked to make instrumentals by Universal Japan and that they didn't know who Mori was and that they won't promote the song and the collaboration anymore. Essentially confirming all the things the aunties were slandering Mori with. And of course, like I said, this was also deleted and caused an absolute mess. Like proof that yes, Mori's aunties are affecting her business and business relationships. And I find this particularly interesting because earlier this week, Hololive in conjunction with Niji Sanji and their management released a statement saying they are going to come down harder on people defaming their talents through legal action and whatever means necessary. And I can't think of anything that fits this sort of new agenda better than this. They affected this whole collaboration by slandering and uh, attacking Mori with false information. Now, as we go to the end of this here, it's pretty obvious that Mori herself is aware. She made this tweet on her Demon Dice account saying, people lying on the internet? Because once again, she has found herself the subject of complete lies and slander. And also, I'm sorry if I spoiled this, Mori and Demon Dice are the same person. Poof, I know I exploded some minds out there, but nonetheless, all jokes aside, Really frustrating situation and unfortunate because Mori just keeps finding herself the target of some of the most pointless and stupid drama you will ever see. Like, I've always said this, I wasn't the biggest fan of Mori. I just don't really like internet or anime rap stuff like that. It's not like a judgment, it's just a personal preference. But over time, I've just grown to respect her a lot because she has dealt with some of the most obnoxious idiots in the world. And it's like, how do you not start to at least respect someone for having to deal with it and just continuing to produce content and not listen to all these psychopaths trying to cancel her. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time.